Yo, what's going on guys? Bobby here and today we're back with another video. So today what we're going to be doing is playing some Tara on Pinhole Punt. Now it's a it's been a very long time since we've done some Tara videos. And a lot of you guys just like to spectate my gameplay. For example, Rico's video yesterday. You guys just like to watch. You guys pick up some things and you guys apply it to your real game situations. And it really helps you guys out a lot. So what we're going to be doing is trying to show you guys some really good Tara play for you guys. We're going to be playing with Fudge and Holmesy, two longtime friends and two longtime watchers of the channel. And with that being said, we're just going to get into some games and show you guys how to properly play Tara. So with that being said, let's get into it. All right, so here we go into our first game. We're going to be playing against Spike, uh, Mortis, and Frank. So obviously what you want to do off the start is just try and get your super. Uh, we're already about halfway there, which is pretty good. Um, that's like the only downfall of Tara is that it's pretty tough. It's not difficult, but it takes a while to get super. Now, obviously you want to save your gadget for good times. Uh, we know this Frank is just somewhere around here, so we definitely don't want to pop that gadget just yet. Only when we have like literally no clue about where they are do you want to use it. So um, Sandy is going to use super. Uh, we're just going to move back over here. We're going to go for this double pull. Obviously, the key with Tara is to try and be as sneaky as possible. So you guys saw they had no clue where we were. We were able to get that double pull. And as you guys know, a double pull with Tara, is it's going to be very easy to score or go off that. Now, with Tara, you want to basically just play Brawl Ball. She's not good in very many other modes. Um, Heist and Siege, definitely not. Maybe you can pull it off in Gem, but that's about it. We're, also, solo pulls are good. A lot of people don't go for solo pulls, which is a mistake that people commonly make um they're not that bad you know they you still get really good value out of it you almost get your full super back so i would suggest using those pulls um as much as you can but with that being said that's a really quick one minute game let's hop into the next one and let's keep going all right so here we go into the next game and we're going to be going up against rosa rico and poco so we're going to move up this left side over here um obviously we do want to try and get super off of this rosa because it's the easiest one to get super from we're gonna try and sneak our way up get some shots off on this rico we are gonna go down though unfortunately we are close to our super but going down obviously is not something you want to do we should be able to get super before these guys score uh, we're actually just going to be given the ball we're going to go for a double pull over there and you guys saw we actually walked through and shot to the left just because our shots pierce so if you're able to get more value out of our shots for example we were able to hit the rico since we did that try and do that because you want to get as much value as you possibly can so we're going to be moving up over here again trying to get our super off this rosa we're able to get it now we're going to use this to figure out exactly where everyone is going to get a really easy solo pull only the rico is left alive but that shouldn't be too much of a problem going to be able to get the kill but just going to pass that ball up and that is going to be our first goal of the game just under a minute in so we're going to be moving up this left side over here again to try and get out of this way very close to our super we're going to be able to get it going to go for a pull we're going to be able to get a triple pull but unfortunately we are going to go down um but we did get a good amount of value from that since it was a triple pull so we are pretty close to our super so you don't know where everyone is right now so this is a really good time to use gadget you know we figured out where that poco was didn't get snuck on or anything so we're going to move into this right bush right over here going to go for a double pull but we're not going to be able to it's going to be a little bit difficult so really quickly just able to get that kill on that rosa over there and that's something that can just completely change a game just a really easy solo pull so i would again suggest not saving until you get a double or a triple unless it's right there for you so unfortunately we got too close to the rosa but we did get saved by homesy fudge is going to go for a trick shot he's not going to be able to get it we're going to get that pull off we're going to be able to kill both of them and put that ball in the net and right there two nothing win took a little bit under two minutes but pretty good gameplay star player let's hop into the next one and let's keep going all right, so here we go into our next game. We're going to be going up against Crow, Mortis, and Jesse. So right off the bat, Crow and Jesse are kind of annoying to face as a Tara. So it's not that great of a comp to face. Now, Mortis also is kind of annoying. We're going to go down over there. What you want to do against the comp kind of like this is definitely go for those solo pulls. Because Crow, you know, Jesse, you don't get much value out of killing them. Um, so you just want to go for those solo pulls just to get your numbers going. Get, the, get it to be a three on two and let your teammates do a lot of the work. A game like this we are going to be able to put that ball right in the net though really good play by our teammates and it's going to be a one to nothing lead with 30 seconds in into the game so pretty good start fudge able to get that sandy super down we're trying to get our super gonna be able to sneak up right here gonna be able to get that kill and that's gonna be a really easy goal and that is going to be game so 
really well played um again again in a, in a comp like this you kind of want to let your teammates do a little bit more of the work than you do some games you know you do really well against your opponents but other games you know just the matchup doesn't really work out for you as long as you're not feeding taking the game slow like we did that game it'll work out well so again let's hop into the next game keep going all right so here we go into the next game going to be going up against piper mortis and uh jesse so very similar to the last comp where we can't really do too much so we're going to just try not to go down try not to feed and just let our teammates do a lot of the work so you guys can see really good start for us so far i don't think this jesse is going to be able to kill us we're going to try and score oh my god i have no clue what happened i think we missed and then the mortis auto aimed the ball into the net but either way that's going to be the one to nothing lead for us really early on in the game so again just stay up try not to feed we're going to just take out this turret over here or at least try our best to because that Jesse is going to be healing it. Going to be using this vision. Going to be able to pick up one kill because of it. Another one. Now we know that this Tara, or not this Tara, sorry, this Piper is on that left side. We're just going to kind of ignore it and just chill over here and solo pull this Mort. Going to be able to get a really easy kill. Plus, we almost have our full supercharge back. So, pretty well uh, started so far. Again, this Mort is, is going to just come out of spawn. One shot to super. There we go. We have it. Holmesy is going to put the ball up. Don't need to use super yet. It's going to move up this right side. Um, taking our time over here. Waiting for this Jesse simply to just walk around the wall. And we got the goal. So if it didn't walk around the wall, all we would have done is thrown the ball ahead of us. Super the Jesse, picked it up and put it in the net. But since the Jesse did walk all the way around, all we had to do was just literally walk through the Jesse and put it in. So again, another game where it didn't really work out for us comp wise. But we just took it slow, let the teammates do stuff, chip away. And eventually, really easy and quick wins. So again, let's hop into the next game. Keep going. All right, so here we go into the next game. So now we're going to be facing Bo, Rico, and Daryl. So the uh, the Bo and the Daryl is definitely good um, to go against as a Tara. A lot of, you know, just shots that you're able to hit. We are going to go down straight away. Rico isn't really the greatest matchup. And he kind of clipped us over there. We weren't, for, we weren't focusing him enough. Um, but still a pretty good matchup nonetheless for us. We're going to move up over here. Going to try and avoid this Rico. Able to get a couple shots off on him. Going to be able to get that kill. So we're going to use a gadget right now just because we had no clue where this Daryl was. Daryl is going to go down as he got way too aggressive. So we're just going to be chilling over here. Again, we could have went for that boat, but we're trying to be as sneaky as possible. So Rico has no clue we're over here. So we're just going to get two really quick, easy shots. Daryl in that top left bush over here. Going to go for a roll. Going to be able to get a really easy kill on him. And we're going to move up over here. Just going to give this bow the ball. Going to waste one of its shots. Going to be able to get a kill. Rico's going to go for a play. Actually, a really good uh, super buy him, but he wasn't able to get anything with it. Ooh, we're going to miss a pull over there. Should be fine, though. Fudge should be able to finish off that kill. He's going to be able to. And we're just going to try and just waste that bow shot over there. Bow actually broke a wall, which is really good for us. We're probably going to go down there. We are. So it's been a pretty crazy game, um, to say the least. We're about a minute into it. Um, a lot of back and forth kind of going on over here, but we are in a pretty good spot, I believe. Holmesy's doing a pretty good job up there. Just chilling over here, very close to our super. This Daryl's going to pick up the ball. We're going to go for that solo pull. Going to bot get body blocked by this uh by our own tara healing shade gonna get back to full health over here hopefully we can reach that not gonna be able to we gotta be careful though because this daryl could roll on that ball so we have to definitely move the position of that ball uh fudge is gonna throw it up we're gonna solo pull this bow over here gonna be able to get the kill and i'm just gonna walk up and get into a position where this rico can't get out of the way gonna be able to pick up that kill holmes he's gonna pick up the ball go for a goal he's not gonna be able to though unfortunately so again really good scoring chance for us but we're not able to get a goal we are pretty close to super. That Daryl's just going to clear the ball. We're going to play it right in the middle. Going to get our super. I think we're going to let Holmesy deal with this one. I'm going to kind of just sneak up this left side over here. But just going to go down. Hopefully Holmesy can get that ball to us. Playing it really sneak. This boat has no clue where we are. Going to go for that double pull. We had it until a wall got in the way. And now this is a pretty interesting situation. Oh my god, that Daryl. Oh my god, I thought that Daryl threw for a sec, but he didn't. He was able to get that goal. So although we should have won that game, you know what? They're going to get the win. GG's to them. Well played. Uh, but I feel like we definitely should have won that game. But anyways, let's hop into our last game, our final game. Let's end it off on a win. Let's hop into it and let's see what we can do. All right, so here we go into our final game. They're going to be playing Spike, Poco, and Rico. So although it's not the greatest matchup, we can definitely make it work. Got to juke this Spike though, which is going to be a little bit difficult. So I went up really aggro there, which is something you don't want to do. So I guess it's good that I showed you guys that. Um, literally just walked up and died. You don't want to do that. You always want to be alive and holding position. 
or at least contesting position you want to be there so they can't just walk up and walk all over you um gonna use our superhero or our gadget sorry to figure out where everybody is now we're going to try and sneak up and try and get some positioning on these guys uh, we do notice that poco did just use gadget though so we do have to kind of back off it looks like we're going to go down over here like a half a second left we would have been able to get that kill um, but we're not going to be able to so fudge is going to sneak up there on that left side we have defense covered because i have my super um gonna be moving up trying to sneak up over here good shots over there by that poco not to allow that to happen and we're still getting rng'd by this uh by this spike which sucks so we're in a pretty bad position over here just trying to gain some health gonna go down we don't want to waste our super there we might not have hit it and we definitely don't want to waste the only good part about tara so <laughs> Let's not waste that. Uh, we're just going to go for a solo pull, I think. Try and decide if the spike's going to make the move to walk it in. He's not going to. We're going to be able to get that kill. And we're going to at least move the ball up enough to the point where they're not going to be able to score for now. Holmesy should be able to get that kill. He's going to go down. Fudge is pretty low as well. So it looks like we're going to have to defend for us again. Um, going to be able to get that kill. Moving up this side over here. There is a poke over here. We don't want to pull without shots. It's something that's very important. You want to pull when you have all your shots. So, gonna get this Poco in our pull. Gonna be able to kill him since we saved up all of our shots. Fudge is gonna pass us the ball. He's probably gonna try and make a play. This spike is really low. We're able to kill it. We're not able to get the gold just yet. Poco is going to clear it. We gotta back off because we're one shot. We got super though. Just gonna wait a second. Uh, I might be able to just chill and get the triple pull. That might be something we could be looking for gonna be able to do so and there we go able to get that triple kill get our super back and get that goal so patience was very key right there we're gonna use our gadget gonna get supered right off the bat we should get a double pull but this is a really dangerous position we all went super aggro and because of that they're gonna be able to score the goal so because all three of us kind of just yoloed they were able to score we're only halfway to our super so this is when the game is going to become really interesting so what you want to do in overtime as tara is just slow down you know we're getting outranged by this rico so you just want to chip away at whatever you can hit want to focus a lot on your jukes um but you don't want to lose lane if you go down in overtime it's something that's very very bad um Poco's going to go for a play. We're not going to allow that. We're going to be able to get another kill over there. And we're just going to protect this ball. We are pretty close to our super. So obviously that's good because we're going to have a pull or be able to go for a super shot. Um, that guy is going to be one shot over there. I feel like that was an unnecessary move up on our parts. we got to regen again. 20 seconds left. This game might end in a tie. Not too sure. Fudge is going to be able to get the ball. They definitely have the better overtime comp than us. We're able to get one kill, so we should try and move up over here. I'm going to go for the pull. We're going to be able to get that kill. Ball's going to be moved up to me. I'm going to pass the ball to Holmesy. He's not going to be able to do anything as he's just going to get lasered by that Rico. And it looks like we're going to end this game in a tie. So let's see who gets star player. If we do, we're going to end it. Okay. We got star player. A good enough game. So we're going to end it right there. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And kind of like a little mini how to play Tara and Brawl Ball kind of vid. Uh, if you like these videos, again, let me know. Because you guys did in the Rico video. You guys liked it a lot. So what we did, kind of the same thing with another high skilled brawler. But anyways, let me know what you guys want to see. That's going to be it for me today. I will catch you guys again tomorrow. I will see you guys then.